Station 8 at 1100 hours, recorded this the 10th of October in the year 1940. Case file 63708NH90. Subject is the last remaining citizen and only survivor among the missing, numbered so far at 257257. Uh, this matter is to be classified until further review. Gentlemen, uh, quiet please, thank you. Sir, why was your town abandoned and how did you come to be the only one remaining? And you were the only one to return. Why is that? Subject has his hands over his ears in great pain. Sir. Sir. What is it you hear? What is it you hear, sir? I'm the only one here? No, sir, I'm also here. I'm not too late, am I? We close in two minutes. Oh, thank God. You hear about Friar, New Hampshire, that old road? Yeah. Two forms of photo identification, if you would. Mr. Barnes. What you're asking for, there are certainly those who would prefer you didn't have it. I understand that. I'm completely positive you're about to add to my collection of letters explaining the supposed gray areas of the public domain. You should think more optimistically, Mr. Barnes. All yours, case file, the photos, and the numbers. Holy God. Furthermore, I'm to apologize for all the years of inconvenience to you and to your wife. They probably don't really mean it. I mean it. Enjoy your picture show, Mr. Barnes. Excuse me. Hello? Teacher now, Teddy, you drink. <laughs> Just pour it, Walter. It's the science, the common misconception that when you can't do what you love, you resort to teaching. I don't know where I was going with that, because it seems like that's what happened. <laughs> <laughs> and so we drink. I'm really gonna miss you guys. I don't know what the hell I'm gonna do. So how about we drink to throw it all out the goddamn window? Screw the job. Screw Walter's tenure. What happens if we could do another book? He has it. No, he doesn't. So now it's real. Mr. and Mrs. Barnes, this is Jerry up at the New Hampshire offices. Uh, we did get word that your proposal's gone through. I uh, can't say anyone around here is too excited about that. The Ranger will be providing you with it. Uh, will not have a firearm with him, so neither should you. Best of luck on your trip. Who the fuck do you think you are? Stay the fuck out. Don't come here. We're not gonna talk to you. 
We came here to get away from people like you. Fuck you. Does all this scare you? In the good way. Are you going to be terribly disappointed if we get all the way out there and get a vague, unpublishable story and some pictures of some bones? Yes. I will be terribly disappointed. That's what I thought. <laughs> I love you, by the way. We do that yet today. I love you more. Okay, day one, pretty simple. Today's all about packing up and shipping out. We'd like to be on the trail by noon make as much ground as we can before dark. So why don't we make like it's uh, summer camp and do the whole, oh. you know, the drill. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go first. Uh, my name's Melissa Barnes. I'm co-authoring this thing, and I take point in the field. Uh, I'm Cy Bambridge, uh, here from the Forestry Service. Uh, it was required, but uh, I've been feeling ready for this. Uh, Daryl Luger, I do maps. Aaron Luger, we do maps. Been no new maps of these hills to the north since like turn of the century. So uh, my sister and I, we get to be the lucky ones. We're psyched. We are. Jill Bateman, Teddy and Melissa's intern. And Jill's got the med kit and the training to go with it, so she can help with any blisters, aches, and pains. Intern's got the painkillers. Hi, Walter Merrick. I teach behavioral psychology. I'll be giving you guys some tests daily and recording them on this little camera. But you know. No release forms, no stress, just look however you look. Oh. Uh -huh. Quite late early morning, I know, but uh, I take lots of them. It's true. Fantastic. <laughs> right, Teddy Barnes, co-author, photographer, clearly. The story of Friar fascinates me. Look, I don't know if we'll find all the answers out there, but I can tell you that we have been blessed with the opportunity to take a legend and turn it into recorded history. Pickings. Hey. Hey. Okay, I'm gonna ask you a series of questions and I want you to just answer honestly, okay? Not too much thinking. Sound good? Okay, just, uh, just go ahead and ask your quiz there. What's your name? I already, uh, oh. I get you. Uh, Cy Banbridge. Where are you right now? Uh, parking lot. Good enough. What smell do you associate with the color red? You've got to be kidding me. Yeah. Uh, cherries. Yeah, I'm thinking cherries, I guess. What does that mean? It means you don't have brain damage. Right near here, this way. Here? According to this, and the numbers you gave me, the trailhead's right here. Nothing's broken. Sweet. Those numbers are accurate. Well, do you see a trail?
We're looking for a trailhead. Are you like uh, retarded hikers or something? Because you're in a movie theater. Hey, hold on a second, buddy. Hey, fuck you, Egon. <sighs> Tickets are $8, so 56 markers for all seven. Will you be joining us at the movies today? <laughs> hey, you're awesome. Come on. This isn't happening. We're leaving. What are we watching? Something to do with guns and tits and the end of the world. Nobody will talk to us. It's okay. I'm not one of the angry ones. Just jealous. Why is that? We get to walk the road. Except we don't. There is no road, right? Coordinates were a sham. Somehow let us right here. That's why we walked in here like assholes. Did someone tell you all not to talk to us? My grandfather gave me this job. He owned it a while. Before I got cancer in his throat and died. That was last year. He was friends with the guy who owned it way back when. Back before everybody walked. Your grandfather was here in 39 and 40? Every other weekend on logging trips. Yeah. I gotta change the reel. No, wait a minute. Well, the movie stops and I don't get paid. Come on. Reach down right side in the back. Left over from the old days. Gone with the wind, original print, I shit you not. That second one's the Oz movie. They found it left in the projector. It won't run. It's like worn to shreds from all the times they put it through the machine. Hey, I didn't say you could use me as a sauce or anything, did I? Okay, I don't have a lot of money. You got something better. You got a fucking expedition to oh, me. Listen, you're kidding me. I got my own hiking gear. I can cook. I can tell you everything I know for the book. I got no real family. No money to go south. I, I, you got it. Please, you got to take me with you. I appreciate that, but you're not hearing me. There is no trailhead. There's no trip. But there is a trailhead. You've seen it? There's even a marker. Stone. It says Yellow Brick Road. We drink there sometimes to get scared. I walked the first hundred yards once.
What is your full name? Aaron Lillian Luger. Um, I'd like you to speak in gibberish for me until I ask you to stop. <laughs> okay. Um, blah, 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 uh, 16 times 2 is uh, 32. 32 times 2 is 64. 64 times 2 is 128. Uh, I'd like you to write a word for me with your finger backwards so that I can read it. Let's just camp here tonight. We can set up a tent right over there. Let's give it one more hour. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, break your wrist again. That'd be good. Give me one more hour, okay? Indian cucumber. You can dig them up, they're sweet. Cool. All right, um, how do you feel right now? Uh, a little warm, a little buggy, otherwise, great. I'd like to repeat a gesture until I say stop. Oh, okay, stop. I'm not done yet. <laughs> well, I said okay. stop. Thank you. All right, um, count in prime numbers for me, starting with two. <clears throat> two, three, five, seven, eleven, thirteen, seventeen, nineteen, twenty-three. Fantastic stuff. I won the Olympics for fastest fire builder four years in a row. Summer Camp Olympics, that is. Fastest fire build. How does that work exactly? You tie a piece of string 18 inches above the ground, and the first one that burns through it wins. 18 inches. Baby stuff. I'd do twice that, at least. Hey, Cy, are moose dangerous? Yeah, screw around with moose it is. Sure, I've seen it take a person right up in their antlers, fling them like 50 feet. That's what you gotta worry about. I don't really mind bears. Oh, a bear will kill you a lot sooner than a moose. Yeah, but it's the antlers. I don't like the antlers. Hey, guys. Two each right now. Give me, give me, two. Give me, give me. Okay, 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 okay. One, two, three. Caramel. Here. Here, you want to trade? Lollipop, lollipop. Here. Stop! Nobody move. Snatch your soul! Where'd you get it? Oh, I found it. Just now. In the woods, taking a piss. I almost hosed it down on the leaves there. Did, Did you so piss mid on it? 30s. Somebody's Maybe screwing with us. Check the label. Can I check it? Wait, wait, wait. Look, look. That's not possible. Look. There's no way this hat's been through 70 years of weather. Maybe someone's missing it. Right now? Someone close by? Oh, right on my spine. <laughs> <laughs> nice try, but that's lethal. No we have to keep it very safe. Oh, can I wear it? Why would you want to wear it? I don't know. Seems the best way to keep a hat safe. It's true. Come on. Oh, wait, no, don't hurt the uh, hat. Come don't here. hurt the hat. Ah! Oh, my. And name? 
Melissa Barnes. Where are you right now? I'm on the road. We are on the road now. How do you feel? Pretty good. Maybe great. Slightest bit weak in the stomach, but otherwise. Tell me the smell you first associate with the color blue. Uh, ammonia. Or maybe chlorine, like in a swimming pool. Happy mountain making or whatever. See you again! So, it's 1940, fall, getting colder. Yep. Granddad would have been like 15. And Roosevelt's not paying any attention to the Great North Woods. No one is. People are losing hope. They spend all the time, I mean, all the time at the movies, staring at like munchkins and things. Right, in an Emerald City. Sure. So what did he think of the official report when he saw it? Well, he only believed things he saw himself. So he hitched up to Friar, you know, to see. Talked to whatever uniform would talk. What did he find there? They didn't leave everything behind. It's just the things they took. Weren't the things you'd expect. He, he said the formal wear was gone. The hats and suits and gloves and things. He thinks to tell us this oh, after we find the hats. The yeah. He thought they took the music. One of his old photographs where you turn the crank, no juice needed. <laughs> it's amateur hour, it's ridiculous. Let's just wait till we're sure. You say so. <laughs> Suckers. Coordinate fives at 11.9 degrees to the northwest. Coordinate six at 47.01 degrees northwest. Coordinates, are you ready? Go. Coordinate seven's at 62 degrees. That's north now. Eight. Hold on, I gotta recalibrate. How much tastes like nothing? Do you take off the hat? I'm serious. What? Problem. Did you break it? We're here, over. GPS says we're in Guam, over. The hell you say, over? Never mind. Over now. Hey! Kill the intern! Where are we now? Be a steel mill. Far off. Wind tunnel. Natural amphitheater, anyone? Hey! Jill the intern! Where are we now?
just outside of Melbourne. Oh, oh good day, oh, Melbourne! It's a kangaroo! It's a kangaroo, my baby! Oh, wow. <laughs> 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 Can you Subject four, this is day three. Okay, early memory, first one that comes. My first cat, Reggie. Yeah, taking Reggie home. Can you remember what Reggie sounded like? Yes. Can you imitate that sound? You want me to meow? Yes. Too. I, heard I heard it too. I heard it too. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Theories. One, solar flares, geothermic and magnetism. Two, human presence, as Sai suggested, like we're being punked by the FBI. Three, collective hallucination. We pass the psychosis around like a disease. Far-fetched. Maybe. But Daryl and Walter's work with the audio levels indicate The music's that coming from the end of the road. Four, it's the people of Friar. It's the walkers. It's that somehow they're here. Here's what we know. We're not all crazy. Our instruments are buggy. We are five days away from civilization with gear. Three without. So, here we are. And this meeting is officially about the possibility of turning back. What? Oh, Bones! No, 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 throw that stuff at me. Because I'm the one who suggested going back. Well, now. None of your theories really explain the music, though. How do you explain the music? It could be God. How can we all be crazy? I don't get that. Right? This is the music they were listening to over and over and over again. My grandfather said, you saw the film reels. They were addicts for this stuff. Uh, wait, stop, back up. Uh, Jill, the intern, said something crazy. <laughs> I want more information. Uh, intern, repeat if you would. It could be... Never mind. God! <laughs> Theory 5, act of God. Oh, it's oh, ridiculous. Really? What if the people of Friar believed this was the road to some god? Some wizard. Or something to stop the war from ever coming. Well, you can ask the wizard for anything, can't you? Anything. Nope. Because if you remember, the wizard turned out to be a little bald douche. <laughs> <laughs> can you start? Yeah, everybody needs to have their voice heard in it. <laughs> well, it's my turn now. I think we don't know what's going on here, and we should leave. I'm scared. I think we need a bigger boat. But Walter... What? What if there is an end to this thing and someone or something is there, what would you ask for? It's a deeply personal question. <laughs> What's your answer, Mr. Barnes? I'd just ask him to smile for the camera. That's all I need. goes. They both go. Oh, we can't tell which is true or north. Try calling northeast north. 
17 degrees. How did you do that? Your sister says your instruments have been off. Well, yeah, but I haven't been. That's north. See, you're good at math, but you're not that good. I am too that good. It's a centripetal magnetic force. And the opposite spiral, like the way toilets flush in Australia. Does that mean there's a point in the center? Yeah. I think that's where the music's coming from. Do you have the math to get us there? I want that coordinate. So do we. We don't have it yet. We have to start taking sites back south, OK? Adding things up. I'm on it. What's your full name? Liv Michelle McCann. Should I look at you or the camera? No, look at the camera. And where are you right now? Daryl says we're 65 miles inside Yellow Brick Road. We've been hearing the music since yesterday morning. Say the alphabet backwards. Z, Y, X, W, V, U, C, T. That's fine. Oh, no, let me finish. V, U, T, S, R, um, 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 Q, P, N, M, L, shit, what, what comes after, I mean, before L, um, uh, L, um, K, J, I, H, G, F, E, D, C, B, A. We've got another one. Another crossroads, guys. Talking. What was I saying? Not going back. Not going back. We're not going back. Your little heart's beating so fast. It's not little. You're not where you're supposed to be, over. <laughs> Daryl, I know this is funny, but it's not funny. Take the hat off. How do you feel right now? I'm low. I speak in gibberish until I ask you to stop? Uh, repeat a gesture until I ask you to stop. Teddy. Missing the music, that's all. I wouldn't know where it went. When it's coming back. If we haven't heard it in the first place. Don't you miss it? No.
What are you seeing on the tapes? Oh, it's different for everyone. It's like separations and slowdowns and association, memory loss. So what if people start forgetting the way back? Daryl has the numbers written down clearly. I'm not talking about the way home. I'm talking about the way back to where we started, to, to who we were when we began this thing. But they were here, Walter. They passed right through this spot. I'm sure of it. We have plenty for the book. This isn't about the book for you anymore. This is about you reaching. You're always reaching for things that you don't even understand, that you can't even see. And this time, that really scares me. Why? You see this? Take a good look. Come on, everyone. Bad berry. Atropa belladonna. Nightshade. Make sure you can tell it from the others. Bad goddamn berry. I wasn't eating it, I was squishing it. Berries are for squishing. Sorry, bad berry. Bad, bad berry. very bad berry. Bad You know what? We deserve a goddamn party. <laughs> All right, but be careful. I mean that. Fastest fire builder, huh? Oh, shit. This is gonna happen. Somebody pour me a shot! Why do we even have ref if everyone keeps cheating? <laughs> See, that's the question for the wizard. You ask him that. Whoa! Something's here. I want to see you more. Right. It's okay, we've got you. It's okay. I'm eating. We should. No. There's no place like home. There's no place like home. Guys. What is it, Liv? We just went to sleep. I lied. We were, um, catching on to that. Yeah. I never knew my grandfather, and he lived in Maine. But I did grow up in Friar. Just go to sleep. You should know. All this wondering about why they walked. People who live in Friar don't wonder about that. If you live there, you understand. It's not something you can write a book about. I tested Jill first thing this morning. I asked her for her earliest childhood memory. She told me it was standing at the trailhead to yell at the throat. So, which direction is it going to be in today, huh? Are we taking the hint? I'll give it one more day. One more day. We have to take a sight. 
Do you, uh, you want us to take the Argo and just catch up? No, we'll wait. B. Everybody, these are the 15 minutes that are going to make us all well, okay? You got your fingerprints all over this. Yeah, you think you're for you over there. You know, you look like shit. Oh. Is it scratched? No. Is it scratched? No. Did you scratch the lens? No. Is it scratched? Give me the hat. Is it scratched? Take off the hat. Scratched. Take off the fucking, fucking hat. I'm not kidding with scratched? you anymore. Is Will you scratched? please take off the hat? Give it to me. Take off. Give it to me. Give me the. Shut your face Shut and up. take off the hat. It's a fucking Just take lens. it off. If you don't fucking take that hat off. Let me see. I want to see. Let me see. Stay there and be quiet. Okay? Walk what did you see, Walter? What did you see, Walter? They killed her and just ripped her apart. But why? They were arguing over the, the hat. What? Walter, what happened? Listen up, everybody. Aaron's <laughs> dead. Yes. All right. There's been a terrible tragedy. Walter, you and I will set up an emergency camp here, Teddy Sai. You guys take the knife, machete, whatever you can. Go find Daryl. I think we'll just go home. Daryl knows the way home. She has fork two dozen times. His notebook. He's got it on him. Like we can find our way back home. I can find our Daddy, way. Melissa, I agree with Sai. <laughs> I think he came too at the end. He looked scared. Bring him back. Melissa? Damn you! 
here. Melissa? What? Um, never mind. What is it, Jill? I was wondering where the candy bag went. All right. I completely get it. Look, we're gonna be okay. We're gonna be fine, Jill. Teddy and Cy are gonna bring back Daryl and the map to fire and we're gonna go home. Do you believe me? I believe you. I don't. Look, I just need some water. I just need some help, okay? I mean, the body, we've gotta put it together, mark it somehow, right? We can't just leave I'm it. I'm going back. What are you looking for? Something bright to mark the body. Live, not alone. I don't care. They're going for Aaron. You sure you saw him come this way? I thought so. I don't know what I saw. Oh, God, make it shut up. It's like it's on purpose how it does that. Obviously, on goddamn purpose. I got that. I saw it. Shut that thing off. Shut. Shh. Daryl. Daryl, will you answer me? We know you're right there. We know. We know, man, and it's okay. I hurt my leg. Yeah, we'll get you help for that. Just, just come right on out here. It's fine. Okay. Daryl, I want you to listen to me carefully, okay? We're not in any trouble. Feels like no one will forgive you. But you're wrong. Everyone who loves you will forgive you. We all thought it is what he's saying, but not saying, Daryl. I. I thought it for days. We all did. I thought of killing. I thought it too, Daryl. You guys could just leave me here. But you can't do that, can you, Teddy? We may have to take him. No, 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 no. You won't have to do that. I'm coming. That's good. That's good, Daryl. Thank you. Well, I'm just going to tie a little rope around your hands. <laughs> It's a safety precaution, okay? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think you'd better. That's good. Sit down. Tie me up. Now. Someone will always be watching him. I can't feel my hands. I don't care. I need you to loosen the ropes, man. Just a little.
I have some questions about the numbers for getting home, Derek. You a music guy, Teddy? I was never a music guy. But this song, this song's been growing on me. Has it grown on you? I hear the people in the music. I hear the people who walk. Daryl, the numbers. I can't take us home. You can and you will. Look at the pages, Teddy. I mean, look. Yesterday morning, 48.3 miles by pedometer, but it charted out at 29.2 miles when we added the numbers back Impossible. up going south. Exactly. The next morning, we set out from camp at 8.45 a.m. 8.2 miles by pedometer, and yet our chart said 19 miles. We looked back three miles later, and we couldn't even find the campsite and the view on the scope. It was gone. The numbers are right. You would have said something. Aaron would have said something. No. Because when you're traveling along Yellow Brick Road, the numbers are hard. They add up. They make sense going forward. Which is exactly how we were taking our sights going forward. Looking back was a different story. Looking back, looking side to side, the land is like liquid. Just show me how they work. Flip to the back page. That'll take you to the end of the road, Teddy. Think about that. Doing? I don't know. Maybe nothing. I hear a pattern. No oh, shit.
useless. That's the way home. He wrote it down. It works. Catch up. Daryl is batshit, so the numbers are all batshit numbers. No, it's there. This is the way home. It's here. He wrote it down. I swear to God. You don't stop. None of you know me. Don't even look at me. All right, enough. We lost a lot of gear, but people can survive this. You're just going to have to trust me. Lady, are you kidding me? Oh, I'm lady now? Yeah, you're lady. You're going to forget you stupid, ought to learn my fucking name, Stupid, goddamn lady. Both of you, easy. Hey, don't talk hey, to me, keep Professor. Your keep your hands down. Stay down, down goddammit! Any reason we should listen to another word out of your hole? Because it's all about getting out now. Blah 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 gibberish. Nothing. It means nothing. Oh, the hell with your plan. What is your plan? She doesn't have a plan. We have to stick together. We ration the food and water in our packs and we walk. Off trail. Screw the trail. Due south. We leave at first light. We don't have the gear, do we? No. Way I see it, we go west. West. I know there's nothing east and there's even less up north, but west, there ought to be a better shot. Maybe we cross into Vermont. I'm not sure I'm in love with ought to be. Now, you already had your chance to talk. I'm Just... talking now. Yeah. Keep talking! <laughs> yeah! You want a reason? I got a reason that matters. And I got this knife! Yeah! That I ain't parting ways with. They, they can cut through brush, kill an animal, or fend off a goddamn lunatic driving a goddamn go-kart wielding my goddamn machete! I'm not waiting till morning. I want to know what Teddy thinks. I think we should continue north. Yeah, really? It's not an option. No more north. I just think we should go home with answers. These questions will kill us. These, these questions never needed to be fucking asked. What the hell does it matter anyway? It was all right. He took a fall, but he's all right. All for going south. Liv and I head west tonight, with or without you. You can go on and kill your damn selves, but this one? This one ain't gonna die with you because she never should have been allowed on this goddamn trip in the first place. And I ain't a part of no damn democracy right now. I promise you that. <laughs> we need to split up the gear. Still for binoculars. Mr. Bugs? Take the lantern. Headlamp's ours. Flashlight. Yours. Mr. Water? We need it. We need it. Don't let this happen. We should set watch.
too far away. Don't listen. I can't see it. Stay with me, please. Stay with me. Where are you? I can't feel you. I'm here. Right here. That's better. I had a dream we made it all the way home and it wasn't there. <laughs> it's okay. It was gone. The grass was black and the sky was full of smoke. And I was there. And I was dead. All the people were all dead. I disappeared. We were so scared. Even worse when I woke up, because what if this road is our home now? Line up three objects, and you make sure they stay in line. You're doing fine, you know. You're doing real good. No. I'm taking. I'll catch a chipmunk later. <laughs> Gross. Why isn't it getting darker than this? I don't know. You don't think we're actually going north? No chance. tried it in like the 10th grade, okay? I mean, uh, it didn't kill me, but uh, it gets you high. Really? Uh -huh. Dumb fuck thing to do, though. Eat too much, you poison. Plus, you get a rash. I like it too. <laughs> I like it too. <sighs>
<laughs> I feel like walking. No, 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 too dangerous. Let's, uh, let's just stay right, right here. Can I touch your hair? Okay. <laughs> You sure we can't walk? Get some more miles done? <laughs> oh my god, look! A chipmunk! Oh. <laughs> would you. Would you. Would you really eat one more? Oh, I have? I ground it up with a rock and I fried it. <laughs> How did it taste? Oh, bloody. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm gonna kiss you. That's okay, right? No. Really? No, Sai. There was North Dakota. Uh, what? That old B&B with the falcon on the gate. Yeah, we had to bribe that woman because she wouldn't let dogs in. Oh, Mickey was on that trip. <laughs> Oh, and Teddy got hives from the chlorine in the hot tub. Mickey was so small then. Mickey will die soon. That girl is feeding him. She's irresponsible. Oh. She won't check to see that we haven't come home. And she'll just stop going. And he'll sit by the door and cry for days Just and days. stop it, Teddy. Mickey's going to be fine. Well, we're on our way home right now. Uh. Oh, here, here, here. Don't listen to that. Here, take these. Come on. Use as many as you want. Mrs. Chandler. Oh. Back my own blank soccer. My last to get surgery. Christmas is good. Third grade. Mrs. Scott. Harry Chinwell. I get chicken pox to him a week. I have a crush on Brentley Adams, but he doesn't know. I think I love him. Missing a finger on his right hand. Vacation on Cape Cod. I love the beach. Oh. Are you, uh... What? Are you mad? At me? No. Just coming down high. Can you help me? How? And put it all together. We're walking right now. Right. We've been walking for what seems like forever. Yes. But it isn't. We were part of a group of people that walked north because we were wondering why another group of people had walked north. <laughs> we were all once born, and we're all going to die. We do lots of things in between, like this. Sometimes we have jobs, like you had a job, and your job was to walk this trail. I lived alone and sold popcorn. And I lied because I knew. I think I always knew. If you live in town long enough, you know, oh God, the real reason they walked. It's just like I feel your eyes on me right now even though I can't see you. You always know the trail's there. Everyone does, and no one says it. You're embarrassed to believe it could be like a way out. You feel like the trail will understand you. And now I think that's the worst part that it does.
mountains tomorrow, I think. Hey guys, look. No way, you, you had that the that? whole time? I did it when we were dividing up our things and nobody remembered. <laughs> Mm. Please? Let's ration it, okay? We have a long road ahead of us. I'm sorry. I was so hungry. I'm sorry. Liv, it's happening to me too. What happened to Daryl? Just go to sleep. No. No, if the music keeps up and we don't find a town soon, I'm gonna do something to you that's unspeakable. Like what? I've been thinking about it for miles. All the things I'm gonna do. I thought about taking myself out. I think if I start cutting things, I might get confused. Get the rope, sugar.
the song, isn't it? It's a sick coincidence. It's calling me out. Don't you leave me. I won't. Walter? Why didn't you ever find anybody? I can't answer that. So, you've been best friends with both Teddy and me for all these years. Isn't it amazing? If anything changed, it's one deep in your heart, do you think you might? Die tomorrow. Oh, sorry. Yes. How little hurt these trees were. I might plead at the end, but you just got to do it. And don't be like those others. Don't argue with me. Talk, 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 talk. I don't want to talk anymore. You want me to stab you? Oh, no. No, I don't want my blood on that knife. Then how? I'm gonna break my neck. I can't. I don't know how. You grab and you twist. I'm not strong enough. Yes, you are. Anyone can do it. But I can't. Somewhere in you, you can. You gotta find the place that can. I'm sorry, Liv, but you gotta find the place that wants to. Stop! No. Please. Oh, God. Stop! Melissa, I, I want you to forgive me. I've just, I've seen too much, so it's time for me to click my heels and go. I know you probably don't want to see this, but it's just so that in 
in some way, even if it's off the timeline, I know that I know that you're here with me. So stay with me. Don't look away. What's your name? My name is Walter. How do you feel right now? Uh, much better. Earliest childhood memory. Climbing up the bars of my crib to get out. Speak in in gibberish. Can you hear me? Please. Leave me out here alone. I'm trapped here, and I don't think... I don't... If you had to go north... If you had to go... And you thought to wake me that morning... I would have gone with you. Melissa, I want you to know that I'm in here. Down. In the cave. Behind you. Are you going to run? I don't want to run from you. Why not? Me with my leg? You might have a chance. Are you going to kill me? Here? Now? Yes. Please, Daryl. Does it have to be so much pain? Yes. Here we go. Melissa, are you there? I thought I 
heard you somehow. Is it possible that you can hear me? I'm somewhere off the map, I don't know. I can't read the numbers. I can't trust the numbers. Starting to think that the trick is that it never ends. But there is no end. sleeping without me. I hope you make it home. And that it's warm. And it's waiting for you. I hope that you can remember how to live. <coughs> you know, not to hear the music. you'll be with Walter. And Walter will be happy too. Never think about where I ended up. Never picture where I am. And don't let anyone else picture it either. here 
No, sir. I'm also here. Who are you? I run the picture shows, of course. You have to help me. Please listen to me. Listen to me. I'm yeah, listening. I, there are yes. others. I need to find them help. You, you have to understand. I left them out there. They no longer require help. How do you know that? Because I've seen it. Seen her? She's... What happened to her? Oh, Mrs. Barnes. I've just seen her. Is she here? Did she make it to the end? Oh, indeed, sir. She's arrived at the end. But there are so many ends. Enjoy your picture show, Mr. Barnes. Take your seat, sir! This is our home.